So Rishi Sunak faces a a crucial vote in the Rwanda bill, the the vote in the Rwanda bill today, uh, following the resignation of his deputy uh, chairman, uh, one of whom we know, the other one is not that well known, Lee Anderson, Brendan Clark Smith, and then a non-entity called Jane Stevenson also resigned. So three ministers uh, of moderate rank resigned, one of whom has uh, a high media profile. At the same time, uh, Number 10 is fairly confident that the bill will pass in its present form, but with a huge rebel um, force massing on the sidelines, already undoubtedly to submit their uh, calls for Rishi Sunak to um, resign, already to submit their letters to the 1922 committee. That is probably the more uh, worrying signal. Now, if around 30 Conservative MPs were to join opposition parties in voting against the bill itself, then the whole bill would collapse. Uh, And at least four Conservative MPs, Robert Jenrick and Suella Braverman among them, have publicly said that they're going to vote against the bill itself, not against these amendments, which have already seen a serious um, challenge, but against the bill itself. Of course, I would be delighted if the bill were defeated, but this could this could trigger the end of the present government. And um, the uh, the division in the Conservative Party is probably... Um, it's the reason Mrs Thatcher gave for conceding and leaving and, quote, being thrown out of office was because she felt that a divided party could not stand and that she could sniff the... Uh, that division. She said she had won comfortably, but she st- it still had to go to a second vote. And while there were so many people in her party who were opposed to her, even if she were to win that second vote, she would then be leading a divided party, and she wasn't prepared to do that. And I think that's what Mrs May had. That's what Rishi has got. And it's not possible to control a divided party. It's not possible to rule with such a party. It is appalling, and the party members ought to be uh, disciplined into order. But there comes a point when Rishi has nothing to offer them. They know they're heading for election defeat. What can Rishi do? He can't threaten them. His whips can't threaten to... Uh, that that they're not going to have advancement. Many of them have already had advancement. The problem is this is being led by ex-ministers. There's nothing they want except for the top job. So they have nothing to lose. The only thing they want is their name in history or or the key to number 10. That is all they want. They're propelled not by the good of the country, but by their own... Um, authority by their own sense of control, by their own greed, by their own vindictive ambition. And having spoken about Suella Bravman, I suppose one should go on to other people, but actually they're all tarnished with the same um, with the same brush. Suella Bravman, Robert Jenrick, Nadine Dorries, They're all out for themselves. Lee Anderson, out for himself. None of them put the country first, demonstrably. Now, do I want the Rwanda bill to to succeed? No, of course not. I think the whole Rwanda plan is a mess and is a misreading of um, what the law can do, what Parliament can do. And I think it's also a misreading of... The problem, the problem was created by Theresa May. We ought to hear from her about the hostile environment. She created it. We ought to hear from Boris about the Brexit that he got done without thinking carefully about the um, 
about any replacement for Dublin 3, because without Dublin 3, that is why the people are poised on the French side of the channel to come across in small boats, because there is no Dublin 3 to send them back. And as for the ruse that stopping the small boats is part of the electoral manifesto, complete and utter tosh. It may have been part of Rishi Sunak's manifesto when he stood for leader of the Conservative Party, but number one, he was not elected by even the Conservative Party members, and number two, he was certainly not elected by the country. There is no electoral manifesto where stopping the small boats is part of the electoral plan, part of the manifesto. None. This is a fantasy. Uh, the only thing that uh, is in the manifesto is to get Brexit done, which is then interpreted as meaning controlling our borders. Well, controlling our borders, I think, would first mean getting a decent um, agreement with Europe to get Brexit done. We didn't do that because we relied on Lord Frost, who is a fool. <laughs>